previously on Lightning's Return Final Fantasy 13. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> have been detected inside the Yusman Palace. All entrances have been sealed by the Sarah, I need to know. When I die, will I get to see you again? <laughs> so, sis, how about letting Snow free already? For his own sake. If you ask me, it's time he got out from under all the gloom and memories. <laughs> what? <gasps> what the fuck is this? Maybe. Who's going to replace her on such short notice? <laughs> You're looking at her. Oh my god! <laughs> You want to get on the stage? So, this was your plan all along. Oh my god. To save the people of this world, I would give everything I am. Hear our prayers, God. Let your blessings rain down upon us. Hey, it's the high and mighty savior. You here to bring God's judgment on me? Yep, snow's gone. And you know what? The only hope for his soul lies in death. So that's it. Oh, that is good. I bet he became a Seath right now because he wanted you to kill him. Snow, the only thing I can do is do what you asked of me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't let your feelings for Sarah disappear into the chaos. She never stopped believing in you. Oh my god. Blood's up now. You're bleeding heavily. We have to stop it. Uh. Uh. Oh. Easy there. Be careful. Such a resilient animal. If you do get the Angel of Valhalla to eat some Yule's flowers, could you bring him to me afterwards? Hey guys, welcome here yeah, on this playthrough. Let's play Lightning's Return Final Fantasy 13. It's been like uh, almost a week since I've played this game again, and I'm here um, playing again. I just arrived from this little vacation, you can call that. And I've been watching my videos um, here, and I realized that I say a lot of bad words. Like, now that you've nursed the chocobo back to health, what? why not take him for a ride? You can explore the wildlands together. All right, so I have uh, some notes. Uh, I want to go here, I think, because I need to find a muggle village. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I gotta go to Ruin City to find Yule's flower, and I need to go to use none to finish some missions. And I need to go to Luxarian to do a mission on the cathedral and probably um, meet uh, Vanille. Working hard. Working hard? Yes, I am. Let's go and pop. Where the hell is it? Lumius. Okay. Where is it? So this is it, a Yule's Ooh. flower. 
They tell me this will make you strong. Here, eat it. Wait up. <laughs> well, looks like it works. Nadia's the one who told me about the flower, and she's anxious to see you. Let's go to Yogg and thank her in person. Wait. <gasps> oh. What is it? Getting better. Good. I'm happy to hear it. I'm glad you could help the Chocobo. Well done, Light. So, what do you say? Why don't you saddle up and head for Rocky Crag? Right. I need to know more about what's behind the story of the Great Chaos. And that means checking out that okay. temple. In the foothills near the temple is an isolated settlement called Polta. It's inhabited by disciples of the goddess Etro. A whole village of heretics who've turned their backs on the Order. Hmm. Heretics they may be, but they aren't fanatics. They fled from persecution in the city. They only want to be left alone. Then, I don't think they'll appreciate a stranger dropping care. by. Well, you won't know until you go. Polta lies at the edge of Rocky Crag. <laughs> He can fly now. The red vines in the village stand open from seven at night to seven in the morning. Kapo! Now make sure you don't forget, Kapo. Okay. Peaceful lives were about to be shattered by a terrible menace. You mean them? Yes, Kubo. Terrible beasts they are. They must find us, poor Mugos, Kubo. Ow, ow. And now they know where you live. Where are they? No! Ah! No. 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 I don't want to waste my time like this. Do you understand now, Kubo? This danger has been threatening this world since it was first created. But, 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 but the savior has come at last, Kubo. This is surely a sign from time itself. The fates are aligning, Kubo. You said the savior. How did you know who I am? 
Our chief knows all, Kupo, including what the savior looks like, Kupo, and exactly what battle she has fought to make it this far. Exactly, Kupo. Mm. He knew the very moment that you descended into the realm of the living, Kupo. How would a Moogle know what I look like? Oh, Miss Savior! Miss Savior! Kupo! What will happen to our village, Kupo? Nothing, I guess. Not after I get rid of your monster problem for you. Well, that's a surprise. I didn't expect we'd come across an entire village of Moogles. Do you remember Mog? Seeing all these guys reminds me of him. He helped. Of course I remember. He was always Sarah's faithful companion. Yeah, I sent him to her. I'd hoped he would bring her good luck. He looked after her the best he could. He was by her side, right up to the end, until the chaos burst into the world. More? Take this. she returns. I'm gonna try not to let that happen. But if it does, I want you to be there instead. She'll need someone she knows and loves waiting for her. Oh, 
That's more like the old Mog. Don't give up. Things are going to get better. more time right now <laughs> so I have another mission here oh no okay another mission right here for me Very strange Koopo. where have they gone what's the matter Three of my brothers are missing, Koopo. I fear they've gone astray in the woods. When did they disappear? Ten days ago, Koopo. Can you help? Will you find our lost friends, Koopo? Okay. I will do it. Ten days? Shouldn't you have started searching for them already? Where did they go missing? I don't know, Koopo, but they are not brave. I don't think they would venture out of the forest, Koopo. Well, I suppose that narrows it down. Mm. But how can a Moogle get lost in the first place? You can all fly, right? Just take to the air, and you can find the trail from above. You're exactly right! That's a great idea, Koopo! Why didn't any of us think of that before? Oh, hello there! Koopo? Found you. You're one of the lost Moogles, aren't you? It's true! I want to go home, but I don't know the way, Koopo. If you flew up above the treetops, you'd be able to find your village easily enough. Above the treetops, Oh my god! Koopo? What a splendiferous plan, Koopo! Except I'm afraid of heights, Koopo. It's alright. I'll give you a hand. Okay, two to go. Little Koopo. I can't go on, Koopo. Oh. oh, excuse me, kind lady. Can I ask you a question? Do you know which way it is to the Moogle village, Koopo? Leave it to me. I'll get you home. No. Okay, one more to go. Okay. Since we are close to Jar City Village, like that, yeah. I think. Oh no, you don't. I'm gonna go to that village and complete the mission. And next to this, I thought I should go to Rune City, but I guess I will check the Rune City anyway. And see if there's anything there for me to catch. Is it here? Yeah. Oh my god, are you okay? Please bring Valhalla's angel to me. Oh, it's all over for me. Nadia, are you alright? <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Kwe? Is that all you can say? Oh, darn. I guess it didn't work. <laughs> you were just pretending to be sick? Why would you do that? Um, well, it's kind of an embarrassing story, but we're friends now, aren't we? I used to live in Yusnan, but I had a big falling out with my family, and I ran away from home. Back in the city, I was treated like a princess. I just had to snap my fingers to get whatever I wanted. But that's not real living, is it? I got tired of that life. I wanted to fend for myself, survive by my own skill. But you didn't realize just how hard that would be. I lasted three whole days before I collapsed in the woods, weak from thirst. And that's when this little guy came along just in time. <coughs> he must have been injured too, because he was holding a Yule's flower in his beak. I thought to myself, I'm going to die. 
But at least I'll have this beautiful chocobo to watch over me as I go. But then, something even more incredible and beautiful happened. The chocobo spoke to me, as clear as I'm talking to you now. Hang in there, he said. You mustn't die. Oh, I guess it was just in my head that first time. It's all right. You'll find what you're looking for. What? Don't turn around. I... You're searching for meaning to your life, and you're going to find it. I know you will. In fact, maybe you already have, if you really, really think about it. Sometimes you lose your way. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. You just have to keep going. Yes, you're right. It is there, and I do see it. Thank you. Yeah. She's fine now. Who's ah. that child? Yeah, I want to talk. Yes, what do you want? I heard the chocobo talk. You're going to find it. I know you will. Huh. That was a clever trick you pulled, young man. Y young man, I'm a girl. Uh, you are? Uh, sorry, I. I didn't realize. Lightning! Gr grief! Everyone's the same! No one ever looks at me! It's like when I helped Nadia. The first time, I mean. She saw the chocobo, but she didn't see me on its back. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's what happened. It was you who spoke to her. She was half dead and delirious, so she thought it was the chocobo. <laughs> She's read way too many fairy tale books. But I guess it was kind of good it happened that way. Thanks to that, she wanted to go on living. So you can't tell Nadia the truth, okay? Okay, agreed. What you did was good, pretending to be a chocobo and saying those things to her. She needed that. Wise words. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. Huh? I didn't say anything like that. What does it even mean? I just told her it's alright, or something like that. Wait. Really? You didn't give a little speech? No, weird. Oh, don't you... F oh, you're here. Have you come to take me to the heavens, Koopo? This is the end for me, Koopo. I've come for you, alright, but trust me. This isn't the end of anything. Koopo? Will you turn me into a star? <laughs> I'm a star! So I'm gonna go here now, and if I don't find anything there, I think I'm going to use none and let the time flow for me to go to the cathedral in Luxarian. That's what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna go there. Whoa. Eh. I'm just gonna go to the ruined city to know if there is something that I've missed or no! Get away! And after that, I'm gonna... After the cathedral and that, I will come back here and continue the story. I yes. So yes, I found... Um, oh, fuck. What I have to do now, it's going here. And that will make me continue into the story. Um. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to Yuznan for some missions and then go to Luxarian um, for that mission and yes. Let's go. Oh my god, this sword is ginormously big. What will happen in the next episode? Will Jonas and Lightning finally meet Vanille? Stay tuned and subscribe to see when the next episode will be up. Bye. Fairy 
really nice. That's good fertilizer you found. Now you'll be able to grow an even bigger crop of greens. Plant your seeds in. Okay. 